Welcome to our Python programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question that many developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about using stir.join with a generator expression in Python. Let's dive into the question. The viewer references a Stack Overflow post discussing how to use s.join with a list of objects. They highlight a specific line of code that uses a generator expression to convert each item in the list to a string before joining them together. The viewer knows that a generator expression is an iterable, and they confirm this with a quick code snippet. They also understand that str.join takes an iterable and returns a concatenated string. But here's the twist. Why does the code work without parentheses around the generator expression? Join us as we explore this question further, breaking down the syntax and clarifying why the code works as it does. Let's get started. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's explore how to use the sStoreJoin method with a generator expression in Python. First, we need to understand what a generator expression is. In our example, we have the code dot join Esther x for x in one, two, three. This code joins the string representations of the numbers in the list. Notice that we didn't need parentheses around the generator expression. This is because the join method can accept a generator directly. If we tried to assign the generator expression to a variable without parentheses like this, tmp equals strx for x in 1, 2, 3, it results in a syntax error. In summary, using join with a generator expression is efficient and straightforward. It allows for clean and readable code. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Python, you can use str.join with a generator expression to efficiently concatenate strings. It's mentioned that parentheses can be omitted when calling functions with a single argument. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When using esther.join with a generator expression in Python, the need for parentheses depends on the context. If the generator is the only argument, parentheses are optional. However, if there are multiple arguments, parentheses are required. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.